Hi kids! Today we will learn what are homonyms. So let's start. Homonyms Homonyms are the words that sound same, but the meanings and spellings of both the words are different. For example, there, there, and there. These words sound the same, but they are spelled differently and also have different meanings. There means they are. This is a contraction for they are. We have many friends, but they are not playing with us today. We can also write it as We have many friends, but they are not playing with us today. So, in the latter sentence, we have used a contraction for they are. Next is there. It means belong to them. We have many neighbors and their children are also very well behaved. Here, there is a word that means belongs to them. Next word is there. This means that we are pointing to some location. I love to go to my grandma's house as I can play there as much as I want. There can also be used to start a sentence like There are many monkeys on the tree and all are eating bananas. Now here we have many blanks. Let's fill them up with one of the three homonyms. Dash are many different types of toys in the shop. Which one out of these three homonyms will suit here? There? No. There? No. There. Yes. All three words mean the same, but all of them have different meanings. And the one that suits here is... There are different types of toys in the shop. Both of my friends live in Boston and Dash coming to my home for lunch today. Which homonym will suit here? It will be there, which is contraction A for they are. Both of my friends live in Boston and they're coming to my home for lunch today. Some children are making too much noise in the street and dash, parents are not stopping them from doing so. So which homonym out of the three can be placed in this blank? The homonym there can be used here and the sentence will become Some children are making too much noise in the street and their parents are not stopping them from doing so. So kids, homonyms are sounds that just sound similar, but their spellings are different and they also have different meanings. Now let's learn some more examples of homonyms. This is a flower and its color is same as that of a white flower. Flower and flower are homonyms here. She knows that her nose is very big. We have two words that sound similar, but mean different and are spelled differently. I will use this plain paper to make a plane and will play with it. Again, we have two words that sound similar, but they have different meanings and are spelled differently. My aunt beckoned me to see how ants were making their house with so much effort and dedication. Again, we have two words that have same pronunciation but have different meanings and are spelled differently. My brother bought a greeting card for 20 cents and sent it to grandma. Again, we have two words that have the same pronunciation but have different meanings and are spelled differently. I am not able to see properly without my spectacles as my eyes are weak. 
Here again, we have homonyms I and I's. One is a pronoun and the other is a naming word for noun. So kids, now the concept of a homonym is clear to you. Let's see some more examples of homonyms. Whose spectacles are left on the table? Whose means belongs to whom? Who's making noise in the class? Whose is a contraction for who is? So whose means who is? I don't like to eat red meat, though it is very healthy. I will return your book when I meet you in the evening. Here, meat and meat are homonyms, as they are similar sounding but have different meanings. One means a type of non-vegetarian food, and the other means meeting somebody. My hair is not as long as yours. The hair is running very fast. So both hair and hair have same pronunciation, but the other hair refers to an animal, and the first one refers to the hair that grows on our head. She is not well and looks very pale. Please help me shift this pail of water to the garden. Again, we have two words that sound similar. The former pale refers to the yellowish color of skin, and the latter pail means a bucket. He is wearing a red t-shirt. He has already read the novel. Here again, we have two words that sound similar. Red and red. One means the color red, and the other one refers to the third form of the verb, read. John is suffering from flu, so he is not coming to play since last two days. The birds sitting on the tree flew away when we went near them. So we have two words that sound similar, flu and flu. The first flu is a disease and the other flu is a second form or the past tense of the verb fly. Do not write on the walls. It makes them look dirty. All my answers were right, so I got full marks. Here again, we have two words that have the same pronunciation, but they have different meanings. Heavy rain flooded the city. During the reign of ancient rulers, gold coins used to be the currency. Here again, we have two words, rain, and rain that sound similar but have different meanings. The former rain means precipitation in the form of water. And the other rain means the ruling period of a king. It is really chilly today. I love green chilies on the pizza. Again, we have two words having the same pronunciation, but the first one means cold weather and the other one refers to a vegetable. When I see a rainbow, I am filled with wonder. We are going on a cruise trip and we will stay on the sea for a week. Here again, sea and sea sound similar, but the first sea means to look at and the other sea refers to the huge water body. Here we have three words that sound similar. By, by, and by. All three have different meanings. Bye! We are going and we will see you after a week now. If you divide a number by zero, the answer is infinity. I am going to the supermarket to buy some grocery items. So, you can notice that three words that are spoken similarly have different meanings. Let's have a quick look at some homonyms. Choose, choose. Do, do. Idle, idle. Need, 
need none none sun sun earn earn bear bear so we have so many homonyms in english language now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more bye bye thank you so much for watching don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!